Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am an IT professional with 10 plus years of experience in data and reporting. In this lecture, we will see how to get data from Power BI semantic model. To do so, there are few things which you need to take care. You should be logged in in Power BI service as well as in the Power BI desktop application using your same login credential. Otherwise, you will not be able to access the semantic models which you have access over Power BI service. So, what you need to do for that in Power BI desktop application, go to get data and from there you will find the option Power BI semantic models. You will have to choose this and since I have logged in using the same ID, using my Power BI service account and the desktop account both are same. In this Power BI service you can see in workspace I have this my workspace which is the default one for everyone and the Power BI training which is the workspace which I have created for tutorial purposes. Once I have tried to get data from Power BI desktop using the same account. So, I was able to see these two semantic models. See in Power BI service, if you come, so this is one of the semantic model which is Power BI tutorial and this is the one which we are seeing over there. Another one, you can see this test one, this is published over my workspace, this is the one. So, you can see there are two semantic models available as of now. So, that is why you are able to see only two semantic model from here. You can choose any of the semantic model based on your choice. So, right now I am choosing Power BI tutorial, this semantic model, I am clicking on it and clicking on connect. It might take some time to establish the connection to the web and once it is connection is established. So, in this right side pane, you can see the data is available. So, one thing remember over here that the semantic model which you have loaded, it will work based on the ETL operations or any other modifications which you have done and published in the Power BI service. From there, it will pick. You cannot change on that part. The advantage of using semantic model is it will always reduce the data load on the server and once only one source is refreshed, all the dependent reports which are referring to the semantic model will also be refreshed. So, you do not need to refresh all the reports semantic model, model separately because all are referring to the same semantic model. So, that is the advantage of it. So, if you want to see the data types for each and every field, you cannot see it. In the left side pane, you can only see the report view and the model view. The table view is not present over here because you cannot make any changes in the connected data source. Another point remember over here is if you need to do any ETL operations, or if you want to change any calculations or anything at all, you can do it in the actual semantic model which is published in the Power BI service. You can create your custom measures over here. If you click on any table, go to modeling, you cannot create any custom table or custom column. You can create only custom measures. Okay? and other operations it will be same. Only thing you cannot do is modifying anything in the source data itself. So, that was all about this lecture. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked my video, please do not forget to like and subscribe.